Aish. It was in, we had just changed, I'll not say the name of the organization. We had just changed leadership and as far as the chair was concerned. And this particular chair, we were not on the same page in as far as values was concerned. So there were things the chair demanded that I do, which I felt were not right, so I refused. I would refuse. And of course, so we were not on good terms with the chair, who at that time is the CEO happened to have left. So the chair, the new chair steps down into the CEO position. So the chair is holding CEO and chair position. And that's why now there's a lot of dealing between me and the chair on operations, on what to do and not what, on what not to do. So there's a board meeting called, I'm told to call a board meeting, which I do. I go in as usual, set up my tables and all that. Then I sit, then the chair calls the meeting to order and actually find it's a disciplinary meeting and I am the person being disciplined. <laughs> and I am the secretary of the meeting and the person who is my accuser is also the chair. I was, I was, I, I have never had such a meeting. It, it's ingrained. But what happened was then I, I did write the minutes and then at some point they wanted to make the decision so I was asked to step out, which I did. So I came back and said, Chair, can you please dictate to, to me what to write? And there was nothing relating to the disciplinary <laughs> case. But then later, <laughs> and this chair was new. <laughs> it's outrageous, isn't it? This chair was new. So later on, one of the older directors called me and said, no, no, what the chair did was wrong. And we told this chair, we know this lady. There's no way she would have done that. And that's how it ended. But I ended up resigning because I couldn't stay, <laughs> I couldn't stay there for long. Yeah. So I worked with that, that chair for, for nine months and that was it. <laughs>